So this is the colder poet. And I'm going for the circular. We're going to finish track on the main trail for anyone who needs to know that. If you're worried about me going off trail and ruining the mountain, well, watch closely because I'm not going to. Got quite a soft setup for this. Suspension very, very much active because Although we're going uphill now, there's a huge downhill to come. It's very steep here. Done 600 meters elevation gain to get to here. But I didn't bother filming that because I think you guys want to see the downhill, not the uphill. a bit boring but just hold tight guys it's about to get fast and extremely technical I will be stopping as always if we see any walkers <coughs> Check this view out here. That's incredible on what. So you can see Altea and over the far side you'll actually see Calpe Rock. That was an interesting episode riding that. Long time ago. So the finish track tourism and Aluriento have done an amazing job here. Look how clear it is. Hola, buenos días. Gracias. So it's all clear, it's a lot better than it was. Bit of rough section, keep the bike nice and loose, let it flow where it wants. Eagle eyed viewers, you will have seen I've just gone down on the power, that's with my left thumb. We're now in purple, which is EMTB mode. The race mode for this is a bit dangerous. And you know what? I'm not even going to try it. As you can see, riding over that. It can go wrong very quickly, and we've got a long way to go. So riding an EMTB, what does that do? Well, what it does is allows the bike to feel a bit more natural on the pedals. Obviously you can customize all of the modes. But my EMTB mode has got not very much overrun. Now overrun is where I stop pedaling, but the electric motor, gives me a little bit more juice and continues accelerating the bike, which is fantastic for racing or in sections where you need to do half pedals, like giving it a kick like that. And you want acceleration afterwards, but you want to have level feet. Brilliant for that, but it's not very good when you really don't want the overrun and you need to be on the brakes. And a lot of this trail is going to be on the brakes. So this is probably the most flowy section to it. Very nice. A little bit of vibration coming through. And to be honest with you, I think my tire pressures are too hard today. I actually set them in the garage, which is obviously in the cold shade overnight. And then when you come outside and you get into the sunshine, obviously air. Hot. Oh man, I'm out of breath already. Hot air will increase the tire pressure, won't it? So. In the sun now, I think that I'm struggling a little bit on grip for both front and rear. The tire pressures at home were set to 24 psi in the front and 34 psi in the rear. I run quite a big difference between. I like a lot more in the rear. It's starting to get rough and ready here. So I've not actually managed to ride this trail all the way without putting a foot down. You can see why in a minute, because it gets so extreme and it's quite dangerous if you were to try and ride it. 
Let the bike flow there. Back on the pedals. Here we go. And not lock the rear or the front because that will wear the mounting away and I'm not a fan of doing that so we'll just try and let it flow as much as we can very narrow there that's the first sketchy bit this one I'm not going to try it's a bit too dangerous as you can see the exposure if I fall off here it's pretty much a cliff and I'm not prepared to do that today, or any day. Just clipped my shoe strap and it's loose in my shoe. Good job we're not on for a record run today. Let's tighten those up. Okie dokie, let's continue. Again, another tech section here we're just gonna walk it across so a big shout out to the finish strat policia i went to see them this morning to ask about the exact permissions on what we can and can't ride and they were very professional very courteous and sympathetic to... No Hola, buenos dias. <laughs> How are we doing? All right. And they were sympathetic to the fact that my Spanish is very bad. So they explained that anything that is a marked trail, of which this is very much a marked trail, you're allowed to walk or ride. So that was good to get some clarification after what happened last year in my antics riding on the vertical kilometer was my fault I did not know I was given the wrong information okay, well, I really don't rate these glasses they are just steaming up probably because I've got a single lens and it's pretty warm now Did not sound good, but we're still rolling. This bike is just brilliant. Raced it all year, won the Max Avalanche Championship on it, won the Valencian Ian Championship on it. It just motors through. difficult to see here where the path goes I think it's this one I apologize if I've gone the wrong way pretty sure that is the one so keeping the bike in a straight line this bit is what I call war zone it gets incredibly technical do not come down here if you're a beginner bit fiddly there Whoa. okay this is the tech section Yeah, 
very hard to see where to go here. And obviously, so many walkers come. <laughs> so steep. Whew. That's the first time I've stopped there actually. Normally I've rolled through there quite nicely. Off camera. The bike. I crashed in there before. Okay, so many shortcuts you see there coming down from the right. If you are going to do this trail guys, walking or riding, please stick to the trail. I didn't stick to the trail there, did I? The rocks are so brutal. It just stops the front wheel if you're not careful. And that's what gets you into a bit of trouble. Okay. That's the real nasty bit done. And this bit, just about finding the flow. Again, just keep an eye for those trail markings. I'm not sure if this is the trail. It's very hard to see because it's not very well signposted there. And the one coming down there. There's a lock on the rear, but solid rock. Not a road in the mountain. of you that are worried that I am moving the rocks down the mountain as I ride well in my opinion it's the same for walking or running exactly the same and if you think about how many walkers come up here the erosion is much higher than the odd mountain biker because let's face it not many mountain bikers come down here okay into the bottom section one it's tight I'm actually going to put the foot down you know what I ain't going to make that oh, I'm getting tired as well I'm not as fit as I was when I was racing this summer oh look at this blow trail up through the gears lovely jubbly race mode up we go so far so good one little slip a couple of feet down moments but I can live with that for those of you wanting to know about my phone on the bars and why I do it it's bloody awesome if I do have a slip let's say and it's nasty there's more chance me reaching my phone if it's on the bars and I'm on the floor next to my bike as opposed to in my pocket and I've never had it come off and you can see how brutal this track is probably the most brutal trail I have ever ridden on a mountain bike it is nothing but abuse and that phone ain't coming off that is the beauty of quad lock it is just incredible I trust it implicitly let's face it there's a thousand dollar iphones out there and i have no qualms with leaving it on the bars Oh, 
to get a bit more furry here. So once again, if you are a beginner rider, please do not come on this trail. I ride quite a lot, in case you didn't know. And as you've seen, I've crashed today. It's not a place to crash as well, because the exposure up on this mountain, it is a real mountain. It's bigger than any mountain in the UK. It is bigger than Ben Nevis, that is fact. So respecting the mountain and riding to your skill level and potential is very important. But if anyone does want to do it, and has any questions hit me up in the comments I'll do my best to help as for your bike it's uh, incredibly physical so if you're doing it on a muscular bike and not an e-bike be aware that the elevation gain to get to the start of this trail is around 600 meters in elevation gain from planar strap so it's a long way up you'll be tired by the time you get there that's why I like doing this on an e-bike. And you definitely want a lot of suspension. I've got the Orbea Wild. I have a lot of plush suspension and as I mentioned at the beginning of this ride, I actually make everything a bit softer for this specific trail. So bear that in mind. Don't come up here with 140 mm travel unless you think you're a hero. And I think you're a hero as well, but I also think you won't have much fun. Because I know someone's going to write in the comments, I've done that on my dirt jump bike. They'll probably say that. To which I congratulate you. I think you're amazing. Oh, I do like this bit here. Again, just be careful because walkers do have right of way. So just come around those corners of just bear that in mind. Ah, oh, bit of airflow. Goggles start to ease up. This bit's good. It's quite good here because I can see a long way down the trail if there's a walker coming. And dogs. Never mind, there will be dogs walking up here. there again it's unclear here there's a straight on there i think this is the original trail so again we just stick yeah there's lines on the floor that's the original we stay on that one as much as we possibly can trail if that counts I might have made a mistake there and yeah, this bit's a little bit blind so we just keep an eye out any walkers come in make sure we stop for them give it a little stoppy down there very loose on the ground so again just Try not to lock the rear wheel and erode the mountain. And the exit. Check, no cars coming, and we'll have a little jump to finish it. And that's it. That is Puig Campana. That is the circular route. I'm gonna go down this way, back to the font, so we finish where we started. We'll check the elevation game and timings and everything like that. So you can see the route on here, this is what I use. It just outlines where the trails are for me and I can just correlate that what is correct 
and what's not just people telling me that's correct. You can see Fondale Molly is there. I'm hoping the camera is going to show my phone screen clearly so you can see how it works. It's a left hand turning here. This takes us back down to the font. That was a nice quick morning ride, that good little training session. Let it go here, Cockney. Fondel Molly checking the timings 45 minutes 656 meters ascended 13 kilometers amazing highly recommend that trail